We got a 2013 uh, GMC Acadia SLE2, 96,000 mile, 200 with a clean Carfax in gray. Uh, really nice trim level here with the SLE2. It's probably the most rare trim, uh, but also probably the, the most desirable trim. Uh, the reason being is you get a lot of the equipment that isn't in the base SLE1 package uh, that's more often found in the SLT or the Denali trim, but you get it in an SLE2. So you get a lot of the popular features and a much reduced price from the SLT or the Denali trim. So let's just go around and show you some of these highlights of this particular vehicle and trim. We'll start with the high intensity headlamps, as you can see there, uh, there is no fog lights in the lower bumper fascia. You do have LED surrounds around your headlamp pods there on those high intensities. So we work our way around. You can see we got a, uh, looks like a six spoke alloy wheel here with almost brand new fire stones and you can see a nice resurface render and thick brake pad that's one thing we really pride ourselves here at all things automotive we do a used car mechanical check on all our vehicles you can find the results of that inspection signed out by the technician that performed it in the glove box of all of our cars take a look through the passenger side front seat you see we do have a power adjusting seat there uh, light gray cloth interior two captain seats we got a floor uh, automatic shifter otherwise a charcoal on charcoal de uh, interior as you can see there and of course the Acadia is a seven passenger large GMC SUV and you can see there is captain's chairs here in the second row which makes accessibility to the third row very easy the kids don't have to climb over a bench seat and on the back of the console you can see we got radio controls we got heater controls we got power supplies we got RCA cables uh, auxiliary inputs for audio mp3 piles so all your connectivity uh, is right there in the back of that console. And I'll give you a quick little shout out to the third row. You can see there's very ample leg, hip, and shoulder room in all three rows of this seven passenger. The third row is actually usable. It's not just there for show like a lot of compact uh, seven passenger SUVs. Again, as you can see, Firestone's all the way around like new. Uh, we'll continue around here to the back. You can see the all wheel drive badging. Also, you can see the uh, backup camera there. We do have the ultrasound. Uh, bumper sensors for park assist. Uh, got a power lift gate. This is definitely one of those uh, upgrades that you get with the SLE2 is the power lift gate. We got a 4060 fold down on your third row. So if you don't need the third row, real simple, two quick handles, headrests automatically flip down, and you got yourself all kinds of cargo room here and four passenger capability. Underneath there, we got a uh, little tray there that you can. Uh, you know, keep some items. And there is a button to lower your power lift gate. Again, all the tires are fire stones with good tread. Nice chrome door handles here. Just give you another shot. Very clean interior. No rips, tears, minimal staining. See just a little bit there on that seat. Minimal staining though, and no smoke odor. Previous owner was a non-smoker. Full power, including lumbar on the driver's seat. So. More options, you do have your locks, your windows, and your mirrors located right on the door. And before I jump in, I'd like to show you, we do promise two sets of keys. And another feature with the SLE2, it does come with the factory remote start. Let's go ahead and jump in. Start the vehicle up. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's a two owner, no accident vehicle. We keep a copy of the Carfax. As you can see right on the dash, no accidents, 200, 96,000 mile. 96,283 to be exact. Does have automatic headlamp controls. There's your dimmer for your interior. Stem to the left, intermittent wiper washers, high beams and turn signals. We do have your cruise to the lower left of the wheel. Your audio controls on your steering wheel and your Bluetooth hands-free to the right of the wheel. Does have the upgraded radio with the AM, FM and satellite. You can see it's on satellite right now. Um, we also have your dual climate control right here with automatic temperature setting as you can see uh, down here rear wiper controls really shut off your traction control and uh, adjust the height distance of the power hatch you do have a 12 volt power supply two large cup holders automatic floor shifter with the ability to select any of the gears of the multi-speed transmission got a slidable center console here with a button to open it up little tray in there that you can keep some things if you slide it back you've got another little tray there uh, and that is closable and concealable so a lot of adjustments uh it does have uh, uh onstar as all gms do and an auto dimming rearview mirror we also have illuminated visors 
Also has the uh, panoramic roof and I believe it has the DVD system. Yes, we got a screen back there. You're not going to be able to see it, but I dropped it down. So it has rear entertainment and the dual panel. Got the screen shut on that one, but that's the panel over the second row. So very, very well equipped. A lot of nice options that you get with this SLE too. Like I say, also has you the Bose premium sound. So uh, a lot of the upgrades you would expect on an SLT or Denali, you're going to get here on this upgraded SLE too. As we look underneath the hood, it's got your standard 3.6 uh, liter V6 variable valve timed engine. A lot of plastic and shrouding. I can't show you much of the engine, but I can tell you it's very quiet and clean. There's a not, no exhaust leaks, fluid leaks, or corrosion on any of the terminals. If I peek down through there, you can see for 96,000 miles, this one looks like a brand new engine in here. It has been very well maintained by the previous owner. Shut it off, we'll get into the last portion of the video. And I explained to you the mechanical evaluation that's in the glove box but I did not show that to you. So I wanna do that real quick. And then the last portion of the video, we're just gonna go around this car. I'm gonna point out any minor imperfections. But first, let me just show you here our mechanical evaluation. There's photos of this in our photo gallery as well. No, but we just like to show you all the tires are 9.30 seconds, brand new or 12. So the three quarter tread are better and the brakes brand new all the way around front and rear at 14 and 15, 30 seconds of wearable depth left. So let's go ahead and start our cosmetic uh, tour here. I know it's a couple little blemishes. I mean, obviously the vehicle is 96,000 miles. It's not perfect. We do have a couple of dents right here on this front fender. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick them up in the lighting, but there's two right there in that front fender. Uh, as we continue around, there's two right here on this applique. A little easier to see those. Uh, we got another one right here in the door. I think I caught it, the reflection a little bit. Um, and that's what we're going to find. You know, we're going to find a couple little dents. We're going to find a couple little scratches. Um, but... Uh, no signs of any prior paint clean accident history. That's what we're looking for. I mean, we understand whoever purchases this vehicle, they're going to have probably a family. They're going to need the option to, uh, to, to carry multiple people. And let's face it, large body SUVs are expensive. They're expensive brand new. I mean, some of them are eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000 now for the higher level trims on these brand new seven passenger SUVs. So here's an option of getting one under $15,000 for a seven passenger that other than a few little dings and a couple scratches, which I haven't really seen much of anything here on the passenger side, um, you know, very well maintained. A couple little nicks here on the front bumper cover, but otherwise a, a very nice vehicle and safe vehicle uh, for you and your family that is affordable for almost everyone. And that's really what we're looking for. There's a little sap damage and there is a couple little dents some minor so maybe even some minor hail stones here up on the hood but all in all guys nice vehicle for the miles sle2 gives you a lot of options at a low price point seven passenger uh, suv gmc brand reliable and true if you're interested a few ways of getting a hold of us uh, come visit us 21518 great cove road mccallsburg pennsylvania look us up on the web www.allthingsautomotive.com or give us a call at area code 717-485-4224. Again, my name is Kevin Richards. I appreciate your time watching this video. I hope you found it beneficial, and I wish you an excellent day.